Today I'm going to give you a tour of my direct um, gas engine that uses a slip belt for its transmission. Uh, here's a quick view of it on the side. And just a rotation view around the engine. To open it up, I have to disconnect the power going to the engine from the top and then unthread the belt slip drive mechanism. And then the cover just lifts off. With the cover off now, you can see the two pieces and you can see in the actual engine. Uh, so this is just four wheels. Uh, that are chained together on that side and it has a belt slip drive here so when you screw up screw down the, the this screw that goes in here um, it pulls up on this which tightens up the belt this locomotive only goes forward it's one of my favorite engines for just a quick ride around the track uh, it was made from an old pressure washer gas engine. And it's pull start. I would like to someday make it electric start. This is the view of this side here. And I run it at idle. All the time. And then inside, inside the shell of it, we've got a 12 volt battery a horn with socks on it, and a doorbell uh, underneath here. The doorbell with a flashing circuit to make it ding like a bell on a locomotive. So that's the bell. And that's the horn. It also has a light, which is quite bright at night for running. And this is just the ignition switch from the locomotive. And he uses just the small 12 volt battery inside. I sit on this locomotive when running it. It actually has quite a bit of tractive force, uh, but the belt slip does slip a bit when you're using it. It does pull a couple of passenger cars with a few people on it. Just to give you a closer view of how that belt slip clutch works, you just uh, crank it to tighten it up. And then the down there, it grabs onto the sprocket. All right, and I'm gonna start it now for you. To start it, we throw the ignition switch. We'll prime the engine. And a pull start. Hard to do holding the camera. Just a quick trick around my 1200 foot railroad.
I hope you enjoyed my video of this locomotive and I will expect to make more of these, one of each of my locomotives that I've built. <clears throat> Bye for now.